I'm going to show you a quick way to use an entire column in a cell range. You can use this in many situations, for example, finding the sum or average of all of the values in the column. Let's say I want to find the sum of all of the January sales. First, I'll type sum and open parenthesis. And then to create the argument, we're going to click near the column letter. And this area is called the column heading. It's added C colon C to our formula, which may look a little bit different from other cell ranges that you've seen, but it means it's going to pull in all of the cells in column C. Close the parentheses and press enter. And there's our sum. Let's try one more with the average function. If we want to find the average of the March sales, we'll just click at the top of column E. So our argument is E colon E. And you can type this or click the column heading. It's really up to you. Then just close the parentheses and press Enter. And there's our average. I'm going to double click the formula so we can take a closer look. If I scroll down, you can see that it's selected the whole column, including all of the empty cells below the data. This is good because it means we can add more data later on and it will automatically be included in our formula. On the other hand, it also means we need to make sure that we're not adding any kind of unrelated data here that we don't want included. So you do have to be careful when you're using a whole column in a cell range, but it's still a great shortcut to use. Goodwill Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life.